everyone, I'm Becky. I am the manager at Mississauga Greenhawk and today I'm here at Iron Horse Burlington and we're going to go over some leg wrapping tips and tricks with you um, just when you're going to go ahead and wrap your horse. Okay, so here you can see some of the items that you're going to need. We have our standing bandages. You can get those at Greenhawk. They come in a variety of colors. They also come in horse and pony size. Here we have your no bows. Again, they range in different sizes, starting at 10 all the way up to 16. Those are what's gonna go underneath your standing wraps. Um, the standing wraps are great for trailering as well, um, just overnight bandage of her wounds, um, just extra support um, after hard days of work. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your cotton and you're gonna roll it up. So it's just a little bit easier to manage, nice and tight. So we're going to start on his front leg with the no-bow or cotton first. Now the thing that you want to remember is you want it to be tight enough that it's not going to fall down. You don't want it too tight that it's going to hurt him in any way or cut off circulation. So as you can see, Robin has wrapped his leg. Now you're going to take your standing bandage. Now with these you want to have even pressure. You don't have to pull really, really tight. You're going to work the way down the leg around the cotton. It's going to go nice and low. You're almost looking for the V there in the front. Again, even pressure. Working your way all the way back up. This is something that you want to do, let's say your horse has an injury, wants to have some extra protection overnight. Let's say you've been at a show, your horse has done a lot of jumping, especially on some hard ground. It gives some support overnight, helps keep your horse comfortable. Okay, so this is your finished overall product. What you're looking for, the overall look. So as you can see, it's got a good pressure, not too tight on Valero's leg here. So you'll also notice it doesn't, the cotton and the wrap doesn't wrap under his fetlock like a polo would. It's more a little bit higher up, still gives him that momentum.